Hi, Bay Press family. Well, we're on our way. The adventure of a reset has really begun. Now, our expectation and hope is that this transition season will be a time where we experience the renewing work of God in our midst. That's why Vital Church Ministry was asked to lead us through an assessment which had us look at ourselves in the mirror. And it's why we want to act on the recommendations. You see, our desire is to have a fresh outpouring of His Spirit on our church that enables us to connect with our immediate community, with our city, and our world in order that people might come to Christ, might grow to become like Christ, and then go out and serve Christ. Yet, I'll be the first one to admit, doing a reset is not easy. As we all know from everyday life, it's often easier just to throw out the old and start fresh with something new. The analogy I often use, though it's not a perfect one, is that a reset is much like rebuilding a section of interstate. Of course, it would be faster and cheaper to build a new highway across wide open ground. But to refurbish a highway already in use requires keeping traffic moving while the work is being done. In these situations, then there's always a tension between the construction workers and the commuters. Those doing the work have to live with time and space limitations to get their job done, and those in the cars are annoyed as there are lane restrictions, slowdowns, or constantly changing traffic patterns. But with patience and cooperation, the end result is something that everyone enjoys, and then they celebrate it as incredibly wonderful. So here's the challenge for each of us. A personal reset must happen before a corporate reset can happen. You see, the adventure of a reset is a journey for every single one of us to take. This is not a journey where you can elect to sit in the stands and just watch or, or cheer. So on this adventure of a reset, there are four critical values for us to internalize. And these values are essential to what God wants to do at Bay Presbyterian during this transition season. Now in the coming weeks, I'll unpack each of them and explain what they look like. But for now, let me just preview them with you. The first two values have a vertical focus. These are values that happen between us and the Lord. So they are, we want to be a church family that first of all, boldly makes much of Jesus. And then second is we want to be a church family that consistently develops a kingdom mindset. The next two values have a horizontal focus, meaning these are the values that happen between us and other people. We want to be a church family where we sacrificially invest ourselves to bless others. And second, we want to be a church family that ruthlessly protects the uncommon unity that's been given to us by Jesus. Now, are there other values we hold? Well, absolutely. But these are the ones we will emphasize as they are essential to the reset and they're essential for our hearts to be in the right place so God can do His renewing work in our lives. And that's why Lamentation 521 is our heart cry. Restore us to Yourself, O Lord, that we may be restored. Renew our days as of old. And as we cry out like that, Revelation 21.5 is heaven's answer. And he who is seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. These are exciting times. Now, one last thing. As we continue in this journey, let me invite you to verbalize or express any of your wonderings or questions. We've created a special email account, questions at baypress.org. Please use it to communicate with us, and we promise to respond because we're in this adventure together.